been in the real estate business for over 30 years, I hate to admit. Um, and I've done, I started as a top producing agent my first year. I made the Million Dollar Club, which was, at that time, was like 30 to 35 houses to be in the Million Dollar Club. And started my own company within a couple years. And uh, I grew that company from five people, uh, including uh, the secretary, up to 150 people in the number one company in our marketplace. Uh, the real estate industry has changed dramatically since uh, I opened the company in 1977. I think the two major things, one is the, the difference in the commission structure where agents were primarily at 50, maybe 60 percent, so that uh, actually the broker could make a living and, and the agents could make a living. But whenever, uh, with the you know, REMAX coming in and, and the opening of the 100 percent concepts and all that, it, uh, it just kind of got the, it, it actually, what in my mind, put the agent and the broker almost in an adversarial position. And it's been, uh, I think it's been very detrimental going forward from that. And the other big change, of course, is technology and, and uh, the internet and all the MLSs and, and uh, the consumer having already pretty much everything uh, at their fingertips. So it, it changes everything that we do in our business these days. Broker owners have, um, a, I could take all day, the, the list of challenges that, that we deal with on a daily basis. Uh, obviously right now with the market the way it is, just paying the bills is a big challenge. But bottom line, every challenge can be fixed with enough agents and enough production. So the more, if you get the people in to bring in the income, then uh, over time it will, it will take care of itself. But I think that's the is uh, recruiting and retention. That's the biggest challenge of any broker. The factors that influence my decision to become uh, a next stage franchisee are, are many. And I think probably the key uh, is that for, uh, to create a, a happy, profitable company, you have to create an environment where all the agents want to be. And I look at the next stage uh, compensation model as, as actually helping a broker to create that environment where all the agents are going to want to be. That's number one. Um, number two, I feel like I am doing this for my agents. I know that sounds a little corny, but I, I look at it like um, this is a great challenge ahead of me because I've been in the Century 21 system for over 25 years and I have sold it very hard and preached it every day and for me to be able to transition my agents from Century 21 to, to Next Age is going to be a challenge. It's going to test how good a leader I am. I, I have no doubt that I can do it or I wouldn't be sitting here, but I do think that uh, it isn't going to be an easy thing, but I believe that it's best for my people. I look at Century 21 as the real estate company of the 20th century. I look at Next Age as the real estate company of the 21st century, and I believe that my agents deserve to be working within the real estate franchise, the best real estate franchise for the present and not for the past. I, I also uh, I, I go into this knowing and recognizing that uh, Next Age is not a household word. It's not. 90% uh, recognition factor the way that, that some of the other brands are. But I believe that we have a great base, uh, a team of brokers that are already in place, and many more standing in line to, to be, uh, become next stage brokers. I think that, that we're going to uh, be a household name, a, a well-known brand, uh, w well before the five years. I think that it get, I give it two years before it's the buzz. I've been in the real estate business now over 30 years, and uh, I have to admit, I, I felt like at some point I was very close to burnout. I was ready to escape. Um, but this change and this new model and what I feel that this can do for my, my people, my agents, my children, um, is, is so good that it has really re-energized me. It's given me 
a n new reason to get up and to go in and to give it 100%. If you are one of those brokers or even agents, top agents, who um, are getting to the point where you are thinking, I, I don't want to do this anymore, before you close that door, you need to take a look at this system because it, there, it's a way for top agents to to uh, be able to get residual income from their clients uh, going forward. And so rather than just closing up and moving to warm weather or the Caribbean, uh, take a look at this. And, and especially for brokers because as brokers, we have struggled for a very long time in some cases making very little money for all of our effort and now's the time to take a look at a, a program where you actually can build some business that will take some of the weight off of you as well because of the team leadership increments along the way other levels of management um, it's something that you definitely need to take a look at one more strong motivation for me to join uh, the next stage uh, realty system is that I would not want to be a broker in the city where you sold someone else the franchise <laughs> and have you take away all of my people. So I think in, in a way the motivation is to be the first one in.